very important to decide in the meantime. What are we going to inflate the bag with? Well, that's easy. Hot air. Hot air? Hot air. Well, see, hydrogen has a real great lift, and it keeps you up there practically indefinitely. The only trouble is it's kind of inflammable and quite explosive. Now, hold that now. We're going to... I have a, a little... feeling we shouldn't be fooling with this truck. Yeah, just a little, see? Just a little to see how it's going to work. Then we'll be able to decide whether we're going to use hydrogen or, like you said, hot air. Now remember, fellas, right after the fanfare, I want you to get that ring fast. Things are slowing up around here as it is. Not a very good house today, huh, Tim? I've seen bigger crowds at chess tournaments. Yeah. If things don't pick up pretty soon, I don't know what we're going to do. Well, maybe they're all waiting for tonight's performance. Mm -hmm. now, last night, we figured they were waiting for this afternoon's. Yeah. Well, maybe things will pick up when we get to Abilene. Hey, where's Corky? Oh, darn if I know. I haven't seen the little fella since noon. I saw him a little while ago. He was with Elmer. <laughs> yeah, that figures. Next question is, where is Elmer? There's Elmer. You were definitely right. Ooh, we're going to use hot air instead of hydrogen. I think so, Elmer. Corky! After all, Corky. hello, Uncle Joy. Corky, all right? Yeah. Huh? Would you mind telling me just what you think you're doing? Oh, I'm glad you asked me. See, I've been working on a new attraction for the circus. So oh, another of your hair-brained ideas, huh? You could have blown your fool head off. And what's more important, you could have hurt Corky. Oh, no, no, Corky's all right. I guess I used too much acid. Why weren't you over at the dark game attending to business? There isn't any. Business, I mean. See, that's why I thought with a new attraction... From now on, I want you at that dark game all afternoon. If you're going to kill yourself, do it on your own time. <laughs> Late. A farmer named Stebbins let me use his barn. This is his field we're in now. Oh, and here comes Mrs. Stebbins now and Junior. Hi, Miss Stebbins. How are you and Junior feeling today? Oh, just fine, Elmer. I saw you boys when you passed the house. I bet you didn't have no breakfast. Oh, thank you very much. Corky, this is Mrs. Stebbins I was telling you about, and this is Junior. How do, Mrs. Stebbins? How do, Corky? Hi, Lem. Little Lem's still asleep, else I'd introduce you proper. Hmm, mighty good sandwiches. You said it, ma'am. Thanks. Hmm. So, Miss Stubbins, where's Mr. Stubbins today? Oh, he's up to the county seat. He'll be back tomorrow, maybe. Gee, that's too bad. I wanted to take him for a ride in my balloon. Maybe you and Junior would come. What? Me get up in that contraption? No, thanks. Well, goodbye, boys. You be careful now, you hear? All right. Bye. Goodbye, Miss Stubbins. Oh, don't you just give you goose pimples? <laughs> you know, it looks exactly like the model. Yep, here's a sandbag yep, that you drop off when you want her to go up. What? And there's a valve that you release when you want her to come down. That's right. You know, and seeing you know so much about her, I think you deserve the honor of going with me on my very first flight. Me? Yeah. The wind's just about right. You know, it might even take us over the circus grounds. I don't know, Elmer. Oh, gee. I guess I could take her up by myself, but, you know, I figured we'd work together so much on the thing, you know, you know so much about it, I know so much about it, and I just figured that maybe I'm scared. Mm, me too, Elmer. I'll bet Columbus was scared, but that didn't stop him, did it? Well, he had a ship to... You're right. So? So? Goodbye, Corky. If I don't get back, you may have my... Goodbye, nothing! I'm going with you! Well... Well, Corky, this is it. To leave the ground, we have to pull on these ropes, see? But not... Not till I count three, see? One, two, three. See? Not... All right, Corky, relax. Ready? Yes. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> All right. One... Two, 
doing just fine. <laughs> Things couldn't be better. How would you like to join me in a bit of lunch? Sure. Very well. This one for you, sir. And this one for me. Oh, this is the life. Circus grounds. Look. Near it. We're we're coming in it. Ooh. That beats me where Corky is. He was gone when I got up. When I just. Damn. What was that? That balloon of Elmer's. Corky. Corky. Corky, you all right? <laughs> That's not too bad. Makes you look a little like John L. Sullivan. <laughs> oh, that Elmer. What's the matter with Elmer? Well, Elmer's irresponsible. He's feather brained. He's got a lot of wild ideas and schemes, and he gets you mixed up in them. I got myself into this one, Uncle Joe. You can't blame Elmer. Look, Corky, it's it's very nice of you to stick up for him, but well, there is such a thing as misplaced loyalty. Well, I like Elmer. Well, I like him too, but that. Well, one of the reasons I like him is because he reminds me of lots of people you told me about. Lots of people I. Who? Well, men like Columbus and Galileo and Benjamin Franklin and Fulton. You said people laughed at them too. Yes. Of uh, Corky, it is true that many great men were never recognized as great in their own time. But that does not mean that every odd character you're going to run into is going to turn out to be a, a hero or a genius. Well, maybe not. But how can you tell in advance? How can you tell? Well, there is no sure way you can. Don't. Oh, oh. am I glad to see you. Corky, enjoy him. I just had a long talk with your friend Elmer. Well, did, did you fire him? How could I? I put out so much money paying for damages and his fine for disturbing the peace, I've got to keep him working. Gee, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's wonderful. Until this morning, the people around here were just indifferent to us. But that's all changed now. Oh, it has? Yeah. Now they hate us. I didn't think business could get any worse, but today we hit a new low. And on top of everything else, the sheriff's making noises about running us out of the county as a menace. Maybe something like Elmer and his balloon oh, would Oh, Elmer and his balloon. I told him to take that thing out and burn it up. I told him if I ever saw it again... Ah! Boss! Hey, boss, where are you? Now what? What is it? What's the matter? Look. A forest fire. This is going to be a big one. Yeah, it's growing all the time. Do we pack up and get ready to move? No need. The wind's blowing it the other way. Hey. Where'd Elmer burn that balloon he is? Oh, no, Joey. You don't suppose he... Whether he did it or not, there's no use standing here doing nothing. The farmers and townspeople are going to need some help. All right, men. How about some volunteers for a job of firefighting? No pay and all the smoke you can eat. I'll go with you, Tim. Me too, boss. Good. Hitch up a wagon and load it with tools. All the shovels we've got, all the buckets. Come on, let's go. Hey, you two, 
get over and fix that firebreak right away. All right, man, come on. Hurry up there. Give me a hand there. Move them logs there. Cut that tree down. We got to get this fire out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shoveling dirt over there. The rest of you follow me. We'll make a fire break. What are you doing here? Oh, gee, Uncle Joy, can I help? Well, you ought to be right back at the circus. This is no place for you. Please, Uncle Joy, I won't go near the fire. All right, see what you're doing, Corky. Sure came. We're all volunteers here. I mean, nobody's being paid. Well, is that too bad? We came here hoping to make our fortunes. All right, men, join in with the others. Be careful you don't get caught. I'm sorry, mister. If I talked out of turn, I was only thinking... Well, that's all right, Sheriff. We're just people. No better, no worse. All right, Sam. Get those hoses over there. Are you certain sure? I seen Lim yesterday, and that's where he told me he was going. I well, sure hope you're right. Wait a minute. Mr. Stevens didn't take his family with him. How do you know? We saw Mrs. Stevens this morning. we got to get her baby and her out of there. That's right, Sheriff. They're up there alone. we got to get them out. Why, there's a ring of fire around the whole farm. There isn't anything to get in or out of there alive now. You pull us keep these buckets working. Get those blankets working over here. <laughs> Wait a minute, Elmer. Maybe they can't go through the fire, but we can sure go over it. You mean in the balloon? Why not? Wasn't there a clearing in the farmhouse? Yeah, but, but, but not very big, but maybe just big enough. Maybe just... I think I can do it. I... Hey, Sam, can't you get any more pressure out of this thing? Well, Elmer, when you burn something, you really do it upright, don't you? But maybe this will convince you to stop those harebrained ideas of yours. But Elmer didn't start this. You didn't? Can you prove it? Elmer didn't even burn his balloon. No, sir. I couldn't. It would be like burning my own baby. Well, this is one time I'm glad you didn't follow my order. And Elmer has an idea how he's going to save Mrs. Stebbins, if she's still at the farm. Yeah, yeah, and I think I can do it. What is it, an asbestos suit you've invented to walk right through the flames? Oh, Mr. Chairman. Still, it's something to keep in mind. Elmer thinks he can fly the balloon over the flames. What? Yeah, I'm sure I can do it. Elmer, I know you mean well, but it'd be suicide. I can't let you do it. Now, if you really want to help, take this and get busy. But... I guess Mr. Champion was right. It is impossible. Yeah, it was a silly idea. Still, the wind's about right. And I'm just silly enough to try it. Yeah, I bet we can make it. Not we, me. I'm going along. Wait, Elmer, I want to go with you. No, no, it's too dangerous. Wait for me, Elmer. <laughs> Oh. 
does it. If Elmer's up there in that thing, he's out of his mind. Well, he's up there, all right. They're trying to save Mrs. Stebbins. I should have known better when he and the boy run out of there. Him and the... You mean Corky's up in there with him? We gotta stop it. Wait a minute. There is nothing you can do. Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Wait a minute. There's a wagon road. It'll take us around to the other side of that fire. Maybe if they get down, they'll come out there. If they make it... Come on, let's try it. Here, where's that red? Will you, Sheriff? Of course they got clear. Take it easy, Joey. Well, they went down in the middle of the fire and nobody saw them. Come up. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall and dawn will come. Uncle Joey! Uncle Joey! Here I am up here! Hey, look! There he is up ahead. Yeah. <laughs> That's him! That's him! Uncle Joey up here! Oh! Elmer, you be careful with that baby. We'll have you down in a minute, Mr. Stebbins. Joey? Gentlemen, Burke and Walsh's next great attraction, Elmer the Great and Corky, heroes of the Centerville Fire, America's two most daring aeronauts. <laughs> it's a big crowd today. It's a big crowd every day. It's a big attraction. That's us. <laughs> 